The one point that just seems worthy of, of, of staying on just for a second is this weaponization of the First Amendment because it, it rings to some, especially those on the right, that the First Amendment gets weaponized when the outcomes of the policies the left disagree with. Um, so I disagree with you on that because when an amendment is used to actually suppress the rights that others have, so for example, the First Amendment in this case in Citizens United, by allowing unlimited amounts of money to be spent in no, elections. But, that, but hold on, but in Citizens Union was it, United rather. The Citizens United case was about whether a documentary film could be paid for, and ex the, w whether a documentary film could run about a candidate in a political cycle. The effect of it has been, just like the effect of this case will be, that those with money will actually have more power than the will of the people. But let's right. go back to weaponizing the First Amendment. Because um, it, it seems to me that, that the left used to be the movement that wrapped itself in the First Amendment. And it seems that it has moved away from the First Amendment. Actually How not. How do you weaponize mm -hmm. a fundamental right? So actually not. If you think about what the First Amendment was, was about, and look, I'm a history teacher, and I agreed with what the First Amendment, the, the First Amendment should be broadly read and broadly viewed. What the First Amendment was about is speech, not money. But should a person's money be forced to be spent on speech they disagree with? Well, it's not forced to be spent on speech they disagree with. In fact, the, the issue really here is simply this. And, and look, we lost the case, so yeah. we're moving on. But the issue was simply this, and, and, and that's what I want your, your viewers to hear. The issue was simply, if a union has the responsibility to represent everyone, which we believe we have and we should, should people pay a fair share for that? That's the narrow case. And, it's and just, the, there's the, the, the question that they raised, right, is that can you take away the political activity from the labor negotiation? In other words... Well, for 41 years, the Supreme Court right. said, yes, you can. They cited Thomas Jefferson. They said that, <laughs> right, you, I know you saw this. this in the Alito said, they said, Thomas Jefferson wrote that to compel a man to furnish contributions of money for the propagation of opinions which he disbelieves and abhors is sinful and tyrannical. If you say that, then you're actually saying that taxes, because taxes go for some things that people don't believe in. So the dilemma with what is going on right now with this case and with the rationale of this case is that you are getting perilously close to saying that if you don't like what any, anything that the government is doing, then that is a violation of your rights and you can withdraw. So what rights of members have been suppressed with the Janus decision? What happens is that economic rights have been suppressed ultimately. What economic rights have been suppressed? Economic, because when a union will know what, what the, the, the point, so, so take the, what has happened since the case. There have been 38 cases now brought by the so-called Freedom Foundation mm -hmm. and other right-wing billionaire interests, mm -hmm. not individual members or non-members, who are trying to defund unions. And what will happen is, just like in public schools, when you have defunding, when you have austerity, when you have less money in your budgets, you can do fewer things. I, just, I thought you were talking about speech rights, not economic rights. No, the, what I'm saying is that the rights that have been hurt are, first and foremost, states' rights to actually run their labor relations the way they see fit, mm -hmm. the Tenth Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. But secondly, for individual workers, mm -hmm. what has happened is when unions get diminished, workers' wages get diminished. Okay. Needless to say. The case was decided. The case was decided. <laughs>